Hello everybody, Video Camera King here and welcome back to the Living Legacy Veils of Shadow. Before we begin the video, I just want to say that I'm very sorry that this video took a really long time to record because, well... Okay, let me explain. So, first of all, in the middle of me recording this uh, Part 3 video, the my computer just shut down. Like, just stopped working. Completely. I mean, I had that computer for like two years now, so it was eventually going to just stop working eventually and just... So yeah, everything that I had saved, the thumbnails, the videos, everything just got corrupted, and so this series, like, got cancelled. And that was like, when I was recording that video, like, the second Battle Theater update just came out. Well, the first part, anyway. And, uh, well, I, since, uh, since this game is, uh, autosave, it just, uh, well, there's no way for me to get that recording back, so I just, you know, temporarily ended the series. And I even tried to make a video explaining the situation, but that didn't even work out. And so I completed it all the way up to the newest update, the next Battle Theater, like the second Battle Theater, not the first one. And now I decided, like, you know what, since I got a new computer now, and, well, I wanted to reset anyway because I wasn't happy with the team I made, I figured, why not self-reboot the series? And when the self-reboot comes, new teams! Wake up. So, those of you who don't know, this is a Weevil. This is another one of the beginner Lumines that you can get. And this is the beginner Lumine that I would have gotten, like, as before the game actually came out, I was already gonna pick Weevil, but then Fevine came out and realized it was a cat, and I have a cat in real life, and it was Scooter. It would just fit for me, but then then I uh, like you know I tried to you know use the evolved form of uh, Fevine, and uh, I don't know, it just didn't really feel right. And since Electric type was my favorite type anyway, and this Lumine was basically this ba basically this Lumine I think was created for me, so I feel like this would have been a better be beginner Lumine to get anyway. So yeah, rip Scooter. And also rip Angel too, because I didn't get another Twiddle. Instead, I got two new Lumians. First up, there's... Oh wait, hold on, no, I gotta show you this. Okay. So first up, there's Stormo the Weevil. Yes, his name is Stormo. Why is his name Stormo? Because he evolved into a freaking Thunder Dragon or whatever. And yes, it's a, phys it's a special attacker, as you can see here. And this is a really good uh, nature too. Yeah, sure, it's, it's lowered speed, but I think that's a pretty good trade-off for what it is. Its ability is still there. Still has some the same kind of move set as Fivine, except uh, Puddle Pummel is now Static Shock. And in training, yeah, I say these are pretty uh, balanced stats, especially these defense stats. I think that's pretty good. Up next is Blossom the Ansi. Yes, I know Ansi isn't very much of a good Lumian. It's actually pretty weak. Trust me, I know. Heck, it even has a lower def uh, special defense, no range defense nature, but. Actually, now that I uh, think about it, like as soon as like uh, I started gaining levels, and I started beating up trainers more often, <laughs> he actually uh, she actually became pretty powerful. Especially since it has max speed, and also the four stars here kind of balance out the lower defense, the sp range defense. So I think it's actually a pretty well balanced Lumian. And his ability, Woodsman, if it's hit by a plant type move, it absorbs, uh, b boosts your attack. Its strongest bug type move is actually 80 base power, it's physical attack, so this is a pretty good uh, ability for it. And yeah, so it's, and plus, Ansi and uh, it's a, it's a vol form, Florant, are basically like stalling Lumians, you know? Like, you're supposed to like stack up damage with like Leech Life, or, not Leech Life, sorry, Sap Seed, which is basically Leech, uh, leech Seed, and also uh, other, you get what I'm saying. It's supposed to be a stalling Lumian, so I figured that would be fun to use in competitive battling. And so yeah, I get it. And then for our new team member, last time our team member t uh, on the last thing, my new team member was going to be Gecklo. And uh, well, Gecklo's ability, Gecklo's final evolution isn't going to be revealed for a while. And since Gecklo is really bad right now, I figured I think Kleptike is actually much better because Kleptike is actually a much more uh, stronger Lumian than Gecklo in my opinion. Because for one, it can actually evolve, and number two, it's it's actually got a pretty good gimmick to it. Yeah, so this is Roger the Kleptike. Why is his name Roger? I don't know, it just sounds like a thief, kind of. Sounds like a name like a thief would be. Yes, it's a, a Lumian that's whole th gimmick is thievery. And it has a hyper ability, which means its energy is buffed up, which is pretty good. Burglar, which making contact with the foe, you will swipe their item. It's just going to be really good at competitive. I mean, yeah, I am going to start doing bat... Not competitive. You know what I mean, the Battle Coliseum. I'm going to do battles with Battle Coliseum with my friends. It'll be cool to see if they, if I can steal some useful items. And it's got uh, it's got pretty balanced things too. So yeah, that's a good overview of our, our new team. 
And if you wake up. And, uh, yeah. Rip Scooter and Angel. I will continue this series in their legacy. See what I did there? Legacy? Anyways, holy crap, this intro took five minutes. Sorry, you guys, I was probably boring right now. So yeah, with all those in with all that explanation out of the way, let's finally head over to Route 3. Finally. And it has the same music. <laughs> Welcome to Route 3. It's literally the same as Route uh, 2 and 1. <laughs> And yes, I know there's a trainer right there, but I want to go up here real quick. And, oh yeah, there's a Gecklo. Yeah, I figured, you know what, since people are uh, mentioning Gecklo a lot in uh, Abyss Town, I figured I'd get one, but since its uh, evolution doesn't, isn't, is still not out yet as of recording this video, I figured, nah, it's not worth it. And yes, Electric Light is a really good type, but there's many more good types here. Like, Oh, excuse me. And over here is our first trainer of the video. And boop. I always prefer to take the higher road. My Lumians love when I do. Well, good for you, buddy. Shane. Never heard of that name before, Shane. And he has a Twitto. Go Stormo. And yes, Electric is still served against air, even though it's not flying type anymore. Oh yeah, and guess what? He has three of these. No variety whatsoever. Come on, one shot him, Zormo. Show him your power. Yeah! Also, I had a very much easier time uh, defeating my mom's Kabunga in the training thing. I think just Fev Iron is really bad for that uh, fight, for some reason. And no, it wasn't because of luck, it's because of sheer skill. <laughs> I'm just mentioning that. And there you go. I wonder what your last of me will be. Twiddle, what a surprise. Let's stat shock you again. And you have been defeated. CC3. <laughs> Don't know why I mentioned that. Well, that didn't go as expected. And $256. And oh yeah, also that trainer I battled on Route 2 is actually rebattleable. And uh. Filthy stinking rich, bruh. And okay, there we go. Also, this new computer right here is super fast compared to my other one. My old one was a piece of garbage. I mean, yeah, it took a while for the music to load and the gecko to load in the last battle, but see, look, now that everything's loaded in, it's pretty fast. And, ooh, a greed chest. Let's see what's in here. Beesh! A boost token? Yeah, I have six of these things. They act, Boost tokens don't get reset when you, uh, when you uh, start a new save. You keep all your boost tokens. So if you had a lot of patience, you could just soft reset. Nah, that's not really a good idea. You can get boost tokens faster if you use Robux. And even though, and basically what happened in the last save also is that in the Battle Coliseum you can purchase new items, and I purchased like four items for my Lumians to use, so that was a waste of Robux. And you also have to use Robux to get CP, which you, no, BP, which you use to get uh, items and stuff like that. And okay, here's Roger, he's, uh, this is how he moves. Oh yeah, I'll kind of show Blossom. There she is. Yeah, just standard walking animations. So yeah, I just wasted a ton of Robux on my last save, so... I might get some more this Christmas, you know, because my family will get me some. <laughs> uh, but this is my family money. Oh, that guy has a twiddle. Uh, yeah, 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 I should use Roger for this one. Watch out for the that feed off crystals in this route. They're cute but vicious. Let's talk about Gekla, by the way. Area. Era? Ira? Ayla? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you have just the one. I thought you had the two like glow for some reason. Or maybe that's the trainer in the later in the room. Man, I'm just one shotting everything. My Gekla needs to work more on its vicious side. Wait, is it he? I thought it was a she. Didn't pay attention. Oh. Next next round is where Blossom shows her uh Chef. It's hard to see the grass. I'm trying to find the best route. Nope, okay. 
Oh, there's a Kleptike! Yeah, you can find him on Route 3. And... Okay, there's another trainer. That's another rebattable trainer. Like, before the uh, second battle theater update, this trainer was the best place to use XP, which is gonna be really... which was probably really painful for the guys who, uh... Evolve, fully evolved for the Lumians before the update came out. And, oops, we can't go this way. These guys are blocking our way like the freaking jerkwads they are. Sorry, but the mine is closed to the public. We have to protect the Power Crystal. The Power Crystal, eh? Our boss, believe it or not, is actually Silver City's very own battle star, Naya. Spoiler alert! No, oh, whatever. We are only permitted to let those who she approves. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around and exit the tunnel. I don't think I want to. I'm not sure what you're looking for here, but this ain't it, Chief. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Enough stalling. I need to progress the video. Er, the game. You know what I mean. Now let's show off the power of stalling! I just caught the cutest little Lumian. This guy looks like a burrow in the dirt. New Lumian, you say? Elizabeth! Lumi is Babor! Watch this. That was most terrible ability. What it does is that it lowers the attack if So basically apparently it like you boast about your power and then it like if your attack stat is lower than the opposing Lumian's attack stat, it lowers your attack. But if it's higher than the the Lumian's attack stat, then it gets buffed. That is a super bad ability, which is why I never used a Babor in my life. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and take root. And that one was completely useless. Now let's use Bug Bite. Oh yeah, your uh, defense is up. I wonder why that didn't do so much. Uh, this is probably gonna take a while. Okay, I see that taking root was a, a complete mistake. So... Oh, now you attack me! Oh, there we go. I healed myself. Oof. Also, it's neutral because bug resists dark, but plant is weak to dark. So, uh, yeah, it's neutral. Waiting? You didn't, why didn't you rest? Would lower your defenses. I swear, <laughs> Antsy is good. I swear. No, 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 you take root. Okay, that's it. I need to. I need to bring out uh, Roger. Take root is a terrible move. Why did I even use it? I was trying to find a way to make that. Never mind. Oh, I just swore, but eh, I don't monetize my videos, so eh. Oh, critical hit. Okay. Please, for the love of God, let me switch. Please, please. Oh, thank God. I need a special attacker. Whew. Okay, propay. Propane? I don't really know what the rest of that quote is. Okay, wait, so I'm in the plant type move for uh, Blossom. I forgot her name for a second. Boop! Okay, that took not as long as uh, last time. My cute wings can be strong too. Whatever you say, lady. And let's switch water to the front again. Roger. Sorry, Roger. Oh, the guy's a slugling! The guy above. He had a slugling. His wood will go away. I want to see the slugling. Probably got away anyway. Oh, no, he had a fevine. But I think it was a slugling. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. There's a mining operation over here. Gotta be careful of mining for these crystals. A lot of Gekko live here, and they are pretty territorial. I had one jump on me earlier. It nearly scared me to death. Uh, Gekko is not <laughs> not very nice. 
Whoa, okay, that's the uh, evolved form of uh, Babor. This here is my prize Bork. He can smash through more rock than ten of these men combined. He also also will train to find off any attacking Gekko and try and give his problems. Uh, yeah, because it's Earth type, and Earth is super heavy against uh, uh, electric. Once we stretch with the crystal energy, get a smart side shape on the Twin City, we find Ryan is a big deal to Twin City. Most of the city's energy comes from there. Oh, also in this update, I almost forgot to mention, there's a main objective down there, and you can also skip by uh, uh, people's uh, text faster. You can't go under here! Oh, whatever. And let's talk to you. Since I have to fight with the glow to gather these crystals, these rascals like to eat the crystals and then in turn secrete glowing materials all over their body. They're pretty. There are plenty of these rocks to go around, but they insist on trying to clear out for themselves as they can. Wow, you should call them the shellfish Lumians. Even though they're not water type. <laughs> and you can't go in here. Of course you can't. Why would you be able to go in there? And there's no secrets back here. And nothing back here. And okay, there's another guy over here. The boss says he's gonna replace me. The boss says he's gonna replace me with another Borok if I don't stop taking breaks. I don't need to try coming out here and getting attacked by Kekko, but which is like I see how he likes it. Talk about Naya? It's a girl. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a typo there. It's supposed to say she, but it's uh. Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry, uh, Dark's texting me right now. Does he know I'm in the middle of a video? This reminds me of Route 3 from a Brick Bronze. There was a... There was a camper down there... No, like a camper down there that said, Jeans are not comfortable and not easy to wear. He had a Dunsparce. I remember that guy. He was my first loss in that game. And, uh... Dude, shut up. Okay, I know, sorry I'm being rude to my friend here. I'm just recording a video here. <laughs> Busy! Let's battle you. On the way to the city, yes I am. But before you let you go, I we must have a battle. Of course we do. Alan. And another Gecklo, of course, because everyone has to have a Gecklo. Oh, you have two of the dang things. And you know what? Yeah, we will switch. Spread the XP around. And besides, I resist both of your types. Or boss resist both of your types. This time I won't use Take Root, and I'll just use Bug Bite. Oh, also, uh, Blossom is more of a special attacker, but... Eh. Okay, right now it's, uh... What was I thinking? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, it's a physical attack is literally 25, so... Oh, okay, there we go, quick over there. And fully healed. Bye bye, beep. Alright, you can go. I think Al Alice said that in uh, Gale uh, Forest, too. Alright, you can go. Well, let's see, you have the experience. Okay, you guys have the experience. And, okay, I have, I have a plan. So what's good about what's fun about this game is that this the battle theater in Sylvan City doesn't actually specify a specific type. Their theme is actually balance, which is like, uh, you'll see. It's got like twilight and light and dark type Lumians. And so my plan here is I'm gonna use Stormo for the for the uh, twilights, and then Blossom for the dark types, and Roger for the light types. Because dark is super against light, and uh, plant resists. Light. Wait, no. Oh yeah, bug is who is dark, right. Yeah. This is the exact opposite of Sylvan City and Brick Bronze. First of all, this is Anthean City Battle District music, which is really weird to hear. But also, Sylvan City used to be super small in Brick Bronze. Like, everything used to be super small, but now it's super big. Big! You know what that means? Time to talk to everyone! Silver City used to be much smaller. After the crystal refinery was built here, the city started to grow ten times faster. Good for you, buddy. 
You have the same shirts. I love the city life, but it's nice to have a quiet little corner like this to relax in. I fear that the city, the city growing as is, this place will eventually be replaced with the building. Well, sucks to be you then. And there is you, the ambit. I'm going to renovate the shop space to open a food joint. Big cities like these love small food joints. My ambit also loves to help me cook using in the flint. He's never once burned a meal. His nose is so strong that he can tell precisely when the meal is finished cooking. Together we make the perfect cooking team. Seems like Embed is really a, a, a really popular Lumia. It was the first Lumia ever uh, revealed. Let's see you. The manager got angry at us because we used our snow cub to create a blizzard in the lobby. Snow cub can learn blizzard. And blizzard is a Pokemon move. The apartment manager is mean. He never lets us have any fun. Guys, using blizzards indoors is not a good idea. Trust me, I know. I don't get paid enough to manage apartments to deal with the two delinquent young man. Anyways, let's go up here and... Be your knee! Stick him up! Give me all your money! I think we can afford to have two Lumians. My husband's afraid of what happens if Lumians don't get along with each other. Lumians fighting in the house can get pretty messy. Uh, then don't pick favorites? I think it's time we get a Lumian. My wife wants a Weevil, but I wouldn't eat it. Why don't you get a Gekko? They're both those types. And plus, everyone has a freaking Gekko in this game. It's almost not an exaggeration. I know there's no point in talking to people, but... Did I talk to you yet? I don't think I talked to you yet. I felt like I had evolved recently while I was training with her. Maybe now I can go to challenge the battle theater. She is much stronger after all. So I have... Wait, you have a female fa Oh, oh, oh! That's a, that's a Wispup! That's Wispup! That's, uh, the, that's the Lumion that was uh, newly evolved. Not evolved. Uh, okay. Snow Pup is uh, way later in the game. It the update that released like last weekend, like exactly one week later. This way. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a Lumion that I'll get for my team in the future. You have to wait until see, cause you know. Anyway, I've been training my Snow Cub pretty hard in hopes to challenge the Battle Theater. I wonder what else I can do to prepare my Lumion to take make it stronger. Look, as I was saying before, you have a female Feline, cause literally every other uh, beginner Lumion I have has been male. Maybe it maybe it only pertains to what kind of gender your Roblox avatar is. If you're a girl, then your start of beginner would be a girl. That's sexist. Oh, and here's Misty. Freaking Armenti saying that it's Misty. It's not Misty. It doesn't even look like her at all. I'm trying to find some new elements to listen to. Should I buy triple space shops or Rabern's wraps? Rabern is the evolved form of Emmet, by the way. My sister always drags me along when she wants to go shopping. I make her buy me. I make her buy me snacks as payment for agreeing to go along. Ah, that's a good trade-off. I'm saying trade-off a lot, actually. Uh, the, the care center has nothing new. The sound of all those cars will fill, fill, fill up as part of the city. At least the city is growing. People will finally be able to reach the blood valve theater easier now, too. Okay, that's... Uh... This district of the city was mostly undeveloped until recently. Working on connecting the roads to this district and the main highway is like the terrible Ugh, that hurts my ears. <laughs> Ugh, stop screeching! Please. They're finally connecting our part of the city to the main highway. It's important that people get here easily since this is part of the city that houses both the Crystal Finery and the Battle Theater. Previously, everyone ha had to walk all the way here and it was such a pain. Really? Because it wasn't a pain for me, because this is, uh, I'm, I, uh, I was started in Midistown. Oh, also, I gave Star Wars a, a cup of coffee, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. And, okay, let's, uh, okay, am I prepared? Yep, I have a plan. Star Wars for this part, okay, yeah. And there it is, the Battle Theater. Hey, is this your first time in town? Well, welcome to the Sylvan City. To this Sylvan City, weapon. I was just admiring the view of the battle theater from here. Oh, you're a Lumion trainer? Well, then you must stop by and challenge the battle theater while you're in town. It's every trainer's goal to challenge all of Rory's battle theaters, right? Well, good luck to you, pal. You're gonna need it. Oh, really? Well, have you know I have three level 15 Lumions, and I have a freaking plan that I might not be able to use in other battle theaters, but, you know. Oh, by the way, in case you uh, haven't figured it out yet, battle theaters are the replacement for gyms. I think battle theaters are pretty good. Like, so what battle theaters are is that they're like televised events where trainers battle each other, and then once, basically, you, you you'll see. 
it's televised, and I think that's pretty cool, you know? Like, see, like, it, you know how in Midistown they said that they televised battle theaters, and the closest one was televised mostly in Midistown? Yeah, I find the battle theaters pretty cool. So yeah, let's talk to you guys. This is my daughter's first time seeing the battle theater live, and she's most excited about the snacks. I was just like her at her age. Mom says she's gonna buy us candy and drinks for the show. That's nice. There's you. I used to compete in battle theaters when I was a teenager. Now I'm too busy with life and only have time to occasionally watch the shows in my free time. Wow. That's actually pretty sucky. I want to be a battle star when I grow up. And then I can be just as cool as Naya. Oh, okay, that was camera. I just finished watching the Battle Theater. Oh, this is too close for comfort. I just finished watching the Battle Theater of Lives with my family. The battle star battles were amazing. Hope I can bring the family back again soon. It's so much better to watch it in person. Watching battle shows from home will never be the same. Now the proportions are alright. Whatever. Oh, you have a Vombat! I'm in the Battle Theater's current lineup for challenge opponents. If you're watching someone take on the challenge, then you might see them battle me. Oh, you're a trainer. Well, if you take on the battle theater, you might just, you might have it battle against me. Hey, the best trainer win. Spoiler alert! He actually is going to be a trainer we battle, and he's the one who uses Dark Type Lumion. Yeah, basically, spoiler alert: the uh, the first two trainers use a Twilight and the Light and Dark Type starter, which is Eaglet and Vambat. And then the Battle Star, I'm not going to spoil anything about the Battle Star. Well, I'm not really spoiling anything since you're watching this video, but yeah, whatever. Once the tunnel opens up connecting this part of the city to the highway, there will actually be traffic through here. I've gotten used to not needing to check the road before crossing. Oh, well, you're going to get hit by a car then. Just saying. Did I go into all the houses? I don't know. Go up here. Okay, there's this kid who is hard to talk to. Oh, okay, I just climbed up on the set. I just watched a commercial for an item that could heal Lumians with their status problems. I bet something like that comes in handy when you're in tough battle. I think that's heal powder? I bought that for one of my Lumians in, uh, in my other save. And <gasps> Can I climb the ladder? Come on, cl come on, climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. No, no, I see. <sighs> Never mind. We just, it's just like the trick room thing in uh, Brick Runs, where you could climb up the lat, climb uh, up something, and then. Okay, never mind. My husband spends a lot of time studying the wild fruit in Roria. Fruit are especially nu nutritious, and sometimes they have interesting effects on Lumians. And yeah, fruit isn't revealed. Roof the fruit uh, mechanic isn't revealed yet, as of making this video. So, I'm reading some cookbooks to learn some new recipes. It's important to eat healthy, no matter what you do for a living. Okay, dude. Whatever you say. Okay, let's go back. I think I missed a, a building here. Want to get as much content as possible. Filled up with filler. Oh no. Okay, I checked around. So, okay. Let's go over here, actually. Oh, I'm just waiting. Oh yeah, or originally there was a guy here. Wait, you can... Hold on a second. This gate leads to Route 4. I'd go for a walk there sometime if I wasn't so busy. Can you go here yet? Because it was blocked off before the, the update. Oh yeah, there's a Veil of Darkness, just like in Gale Forest. Yeah. You! This is what here when we passed through earlier. I'm not calling my mother for help. We'll figure it out on our own. Mabel, why should... Maybe we should call your mother for help. Oh, she just said it weren't. Well, maybe we'll... we'll what do we do now? I think I just read that in the, in the perfectly wrong order. Route 4 connects to Route 5. Not exactly a shotgun, right? But on the other side of the Route 5 is Hayoa Village. That's new. That wasn't broken for bronze. Route 4 has some bi crazy big mushrooms. They even light up at night. They must draw their energy from the ground, like the crystals on Route 3. Okay, then. Well, since we can't progress any further, let's go back to Sylvan City.
Also, in case you haven't noticed, HMs are basically replaced in this game with the, uh, you know, those things. Like, you think you needed HM for that, but no. HMs are replaced with, uh, special Luby Watch apps, uh, basically. And this one gives out Stunning Flash, which basically just, you know, gives out a Stunning Flash that flashes away dark things. And the Veil of Darkness has appeared when the tablet broke, so what, what would, what use would that even have? Maybe to just light up dark faces for a minute? I don't know. I'd love to live in an apartment that is close to the battle here, like this one. So you can challenge it every day. I challenge battle theater shows every day. I am sorry, but we don't have any of them. Of course you don't. Yeah, this doesn't work. And okay, there's more people to talk to. This apartment comes is really fancy. Thankfully, they have different tiers of rooms to pick up for my entire stuff. I didn't blah blah blah. My husband and I are not sure which room to pick yet. Is this your husband? Then why is she standing together? Every other couple is standing together. No! Oh! <sighs> Didn't mean to do that. From here, this way is good. Nice. Okay. You give literally nothing. Okay. Like, everyone here is gives nothing. It's useless to talk to these people, but. I like exploring. Also, most loot. Oh, also, most people. Holy crap, you have a lot of Cathorns. I love bug type Lumians. They're so cute. Most people are afraid of them and think they're creepy. That's gonna be wrong sometimes, I guess. Dude. Fearing is different than opinions. Fearing means you physically can't uh, get clear to get close to them. That can't really change that easily. Opinions you can change easily, but not fears. So if you fear something, you're not wrong. You're just fearing them. You could like them and fear for them. I don't know. I just got a job working the battle here. To clean out the battles. That's not so bad. I get paid, but I also get to watch the battles for three. Don't you always watch the battles for free? Oh, wait, no, never mind. You can't. <laughs> uh, it, it makes sense once uh, you get into the battle theater. Like, you can actually pay tickets to see the trainers. Uh, like, train. Here's the thing about battle theaters you can pay to watch the battles, but participating in the battles is completely free. Gotta be careful handling these vicious crystals. I dropped one once and it shattered really so much of energy. It launched me 15 feet into the air. Even to this day, everyone calls me Exploding Evan. Oof. It's gotta suck for you. Everyone's lives suck. And... Chest! And we got advanced discs! Which are basically great balls in this game. Yes, there's a ton of similarities to Pokemon in here. I'm gonna list them all. Did I talk to you yet? This is if it's the energy crystal, all the energy crystals are refined. Once the energy crystals are refined, they are sent to another place to have the energy extracted. The refinement of this is important because it removes all the impurities of the crystals, making the extraction process easier. Cool. Ah, annoying buzzing. My favorite noise. This machine cuts the crystals into smaller bits. It makes it easier for the next machine to do its job. I have to say, stay in mind of these machines to make sure they don't build up too much pressure. The whole place could blow up if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. If I ever miss a day, that might assign exploding Evan to this job. I don't know what would happen then, but I don't think I'd live that on the country. Ooh, that guy just got burned! Ooh, I can feel that burn. And that's everyone, I think. Yeah, that's everything here. Explored every nook and cranny of Sylvet. Did I go in here? Oh, he did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's enough. Now that we've explored all of Sylvet City, let's finally go into the Battle Theater. Did I talk to everyone in the Battle Theater? Oh, uh, I gotta talk to everyone, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, no one's in the back. I remember when I first played this game, I actually was looking for this entrance. Like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? But then I realized the entrance is literally right here. So yeah, let's go in. Hi there! You're just in time! We were looking for trainers to enter the Sylvan Battle Theater Challenge. The objective is to play through several rounds and then defeat the Theater's Battle Star in a Lumion battle. The Battle Star is the strongest trainer- That's the same guy from Route 3, I just realized. The Battle Star is the strongest trainer in town and has earned their fame through countless battles. If you can compete- complete the challenges to defeat the Battle Star, you'll receive the Sylvan Battle Theater Medal. Yes, badges are replaced with medals in this game. If you, are if you are interested in participating, please come talk to me. 
Also, this is the same guy in uh, Brick Bronze, who is uh, the gym guy, you know, that tells you the gym's puzzle. This time he's Arthro, and now it actually just, you know, actually has a purpose to, you know, just, you know. It, it's, it's just like a movie theater. You uh, purchase tickets. Ah, excuse me, I'm gassy. Oh, go on ahead of me. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to show up before I get in line. Okay. Let's check on you. Hey, no cutting. Too bad. Almost the ticket booth. Okay. Hey, I'm next. No, you're not. <laughs> I have to kick my ticket, please. Okay. I'll take one adult ticket, please. Do you guys take three old coupons? Ah, uh, one of those guys. Okay. Now they're all uh, standing in a line. <laughs> they're looking at me like, Oh uh, yeah, we know you cut in line. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yes. No more stalling. Let's finally do this thing. Hey there, trainer. Have you come participate in the Metal Theater Challenge? No. Okay, but <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yep. Yes. Great, follow me. And here's the waiting room. Or the preparation room where you can. Uh... This is a TV. I just realized. How is it not playing anything? Oh, whatever. Hey, you were in Gil Forest. I just barely beat that first puzzle. Battle puzzle. Wait, sorry. What did you say? I just barely beat the first puzzle in battle. I don't know if I can even make it to the battle start at this rate. Dude, you have to train up just like me. Why do you have a scarf in the middle of summer? Oh, wait, no, it's fall right now. <laughs> it's October. The puzzle they have sh that you solve is only the first half of the round. Then you have to beat someone in a battle if you want to progress in the next round. Yep, that's how it works. Puzzle, battle. Puzzle, battle. Puzzle, battle star. And then you get the medal. Oh, yeah, you can also, uh... This way leads to the You don't want to go this way unless you're ready to get out of the channel. Yeah, you can just give, like... Basically, I think this is also what happened, was that... When people battle... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can basically rebattle the trainers as many times as you want, as long as you don't have the medal. But I'm not going to do that because I like to grind off of actual. Because I like because it'll take way too long. And besides, you have puzzles to do, in it, so let's finally go do this. Your first round is about to begin. Well, you, you'll be asked to solve a puzzle and then a battle trainer. After that, you will be able to come back here and prepare for the next round. Are you ready to go on stage? Uh, yes, sir. Right this way, please. Hello? There we go. Now, oh, let's welcome our next contestant to the stage. Everybody, get up for a video. Like a game show. Please take your spot on the stage. Alright, crowd, you know the rules. Before a video can challenge our next challenger, they must solve this puzzle. Let's see who their first puzzle is. It's going too fast. Great! Familiar? This puzzle is simple. You must step onto the green tiles to switch them on and off. Be careful, though, because any adjacent green tiles can also change when you do so. Turn on all of the green tiles to win. Now, let's find out if video has what it takes. This is similar to actually uh, Silver City's uh, uh, gym in Brick Bronze, where you have to light up puzzles, like so. And boop. 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 Oh, wait. There we go! Great job with that puzzle. Take up the first challenger. There we go. Yep. Who's ready for a battle? Hey, it's breaking hair! If you want to challenge a battle star, you're gonna have to go through me. And his name's Pal, send out Twilight. Go Stormo. Yep, Twilight. This this gym's theme is balance, so Twilight hat being a typeless, uh, is, you know, perfect balance. Even though it's not really a balance type at all. Let's go ahead and swipe you. You have been deadified. Uh, yeah, Eaglet. There we go. That's the light beginner. They'll be in. Yeah. And let's go, Roger. Yes, I know dark and light are weak to each other, but eh. What are you gonna do? It's Pilfer. And you just got one shotted. Oof! Okay. What an amazing battle. Congrats on your first round victory video. We'll be back after this round after this short break. 
Yay, we did it. And we took no damage whatsoever. So yeah, you guys, you guys usually just say the same thing. And let's go ahead and go our next battle now. Yes. Alright, let's go. Hello? <laughs> there we go. Please welcome video back to the stage. Yep. Exactly the same thing as before. Yes, I am smarter than a 6th grader, because I'm a... Not a 6th grader. I'm, yeah. We'll start round 2 of this time, because I'm going to Oh, this one's harder. <laughs> What's this? Now we have black tiles. You are still free to move around the white tile, but these new black ones may not be stepped on. Good luck! Okay. Okay, that wasn't actually hard, harder at all. It was just the same as Time for our next challenger. Oh, you're the guy from uh, uh, outside the theater. You've come pretty far, but this is where the end for you. Are you sure about that? Yeah, and you have the same Lumion. You'll meet the same fate as the last one. Death. Or er, fainting. Half death, actually. That ain't gonna help you, bud. And fight, and another stack shock. See how easy it is when you grind? Oh, okay, you level up. Yes, we will uh, switch to Blossom. Switch to Vamat, and let's uh, bug a bite to you. Oh, you're faster than me! Didn't realize that. Oh, actually, that, that's actually good, because I, uh, I can gain health. Yeah, just keep using Maw. Restore health, and just use Gnaw or something. Wow, okay then. You're just delaying the inevitable, dude. Inevitable. Okay. Oh crap, I'm not getting full to heal health. Ah oh, crap, I didn't get to full health. Ah, whatever. It's only three points of health, that's not gonna change anything. You're almost ready to face Naya, watch out. That's truly incredible. Another excellent performance by video. We'll be back at a nice short break. Okay. And since Stormo leveled up, we're just gonna leave you out of the Battle Theater uh, Battle Star Challenge. Sorry, Stormo. You'll get your day. Well, you, particip you, particip you participated anyway, so yeah. So yeah, we're gonna put Roger in front, and then Blossom will take care of uh, Naya's uh, ace. If you solve this puzzle, you'll face a good spouse. Uh, sorry. Ready for the final round? Yes. Awesome, let's get this underway. And there we go, darkness again. Okay, there we go, lightness. Video returns to the stage once more. And yep, give it up for the video. Yep. Let's take your spot on stage. Not really a stage, but whatever. Final challenge, yes. Coming out of the space, space ceiling again. This time it's no introduction. Uh, I forgot how to do this one. Christ Almighty! This might take a little bit. There we go! <laughs> now time for our final challenger! Let's go Ballastar Naya! Oh, Diva! You've done a great job making it this far. This is your first time challenging a battle theater, isn't it? Most trainers have at least a few medals under the belt before they challenge you. Oh, you're gonna be challenging, aren't you? Just because you're new to this doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. If you want to win my medal, you're gonna have to beat me in a fair fight. Now, let me teach you a thing or two about balance. And of course you use Gecklow. 
What a surprise! Everyone was talking about how you just get glow in Midas Town. Which is why exactly I led with Roger. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, this is Pilfer. Dang it. Oh god! Ooh! Oh no! No, you did not! No, I'm not gonna switch out. Well. Wait, no, not, I'm not gonna catch your Gecklo! Use a small med. Okay. I was hoping you'd go for dodge. You have you no know dodge, I know that for a fact. The last Gekko's move was uh, Shine, Static Shock, and uh, uh, Stare. This one uh, had replaced Stare with Dodge. The small med. Ah, there you go. And you, let's use Sharpen. Now you're gonna get one-shotted. Okay, this time it wasn't as... Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, let's use Pilfer. Forget it, I'm switching. Stormo, you're gonna you're gonna participate out after all. This is not going as planned. And oh, I didn't realize I never even did any damage. Since Oh, okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Then Boop. That did nothing at okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to uh up Roger again. Let's switch him in. Get back in there. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Use dodge, use dodge, use dodge. You stupid idiot. Okay, there we go. Strategy. And boom goes dynamite. Alright. Give me my experience. And yes, your ace is Kleptike. Two light types and one dark type? That's not really balance. That's not really very balancing, you know. Let's show them how powerful ancies can be. This time I will use Take Root. Especially since you're faster than me. Oh crap, that's not very... Oh gosh, my parents are calling for me. Ah, whatever. Let's go ahead and hurry this up. Use Bug Bite again. Oh yeah, you know, quick pounds, of course you do. Couple more hits. And you, yeah, we'll just rest. Okay, that's really powerful, actually. Ooh, okay, so you have no energy left, you're either gonna wait or rest. So, yeah, you know what, let's just use Bug Bite. Oh, you're just waiting, okay. The music can make me think my parents are walking into my room. <laughs> okay, shoe steps. Okay. Use a critical hit, and then we're done. Oh, I just realized people are clapping in the background, even when I'm not... Uh, Feeding Illumian. Okay. Last, last attack. Why'd you wait? Did you have no energy left? Ah, oh, whatever. Well, that was harder than I thought. Whatever, we beat her anyway. 
That was some excellent battling. Folks, we have a winner. Congratulations to video for their victory. Your skills are quite impressive. You deserve this. And here it is. The Harmony Medal. Go for it. Yeah, there it is. Yin and Yang. I was inside someone. Oh, there, Felver Evolved. Huh, okay. You really did do great out there. Or Fevine Evolved. That was Felver, the Evolved form. Anyway, I'm sure you've heard that there's another prize that Battle Stars typically give away in addition to their respective medals. I'm talking about the exclusive Lumi Watch applications. My signature Lumi Watch app is called Stunning Flash. Unfortunately, Stunning Flash requires more powerful than can be provided by the technology included with the uh, Lumi Watch. Fortunately, I have access to a resource that we can use to upgrade Lumi Watch. And don't worry, it's not going to avoid the warranty. The warranty. What warranty? If you want Stunning Flash, beat me in the cave around 3. That's where we keep our secret sauce, so to see. See you there. Alright, so my parents were calling me earlier, so I'll go ahead and just uh, pause the video right here. Yes, pause it, not end it. We still have something to do. We're gonna so still meet by lunch. So see you then. Okay, I'm back. I was gonna go ahead and heal up my Lumians at the uh, the care center, but then I forgot there was a cutscene that happened when you exited the theater, so yeah. Someone's calling you Lumi Watch. Hey, sweetheart, it's mom. Your father and I just wanted to watch your battle performance on TV. Everyone in town came by and told us how excited they were for you. Uh, okay then. You battle just like a star. We are so proud of you. Oh, you're supposed to be beating a battle star in Route 3 right now? Well then, I'll let you go. I just wanted to let you know we're rooting for you at home. We'll talk more soon. Love ya. And since I restarted the video- not restarted the video- started the video up again, let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. Let's see what he says. It was an honor watching you take on Silas Panel Theater. Congratulations on your big win. Right now, we're just looking for new participants. If you know any trainers who haven't taken on our challenge, send them my way. Maybe one day we'll allow you to play again. Hint, hint. And, oh, that took so long that it became nighttime. <laughs> yeah. Whew, my heart was pounding, actually, during that fight. I thought for sure I'd be dead. A critical hit changed literally everything. Anyways, let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, I'm gonna try and think. Okay, yeah, Roger. Okay, this is, uh... This is gonna be a little bit of a... Okay, I know it's coming up, and I'm kinda afraid for it. Oh, they're fine. Let's just go back to Route 3. Still recording, right? Yep, it's recording, yeah. And I'm really super unprofessional. I promise, guys, I'll get better in the future. I am better than my original days, but, like... I remember my first video was literally just me recording on my phone. Look how I cut so far. And, yay, no, no round encounters. Yeah, now we have to go to this place that was blocked off earlier. And yay, it's open. What are you guys staring at? Whoa, hold it right there. The mine is closed to the public. Miss Naya calls the shots on who enters the cave beyond this point. You mean you're the one she called about? Then who did we just light in? Wait, what? Galvanite Cave. A new location. That Our first new location. That wasn't in Brick Bronze. <gasps> Jake! Hey kid, turns out you're not supposed to be in here. I let you through on accident. Please step away from the crystal. The power. I need it. What? Who are you? My name is not important. I'm trying to find my way home. You might say I'm not from around here. The talk that sounds that this crystal, if I was properly, could power a city for a century. I need that kind of energy. If I ever hope to get back home, I'm going to need this crystal. I don't understand. Regardless, this crystal is reserved for the use, use of by authorized trainers. Small amounts of this power are harnessed to upgrade the capabilities of the Lumen Watches to assist trainers on their journeys. You can't just walk in here and leave the, with the whole crystal. It takes years for that much energy to drip down to such a formation as this. I see. Well then, you must be a special trainer then. So you must be a special trainer then? Sorry, I'm not. I am a trainer myself. I'm not the most experienced, but I'm learning all I can. What do you say we have a paddle, battle for educational purposes? It won't hurt to battle this kid. Miss Naya is on her way and can probably deal with this strange person better than I can. A battle is the perfect thing to stall until she could get here. So, oh, excuse me. So, do we have a battle? Yeah, go for it. All right, then let the battle begin. And 
Mysterious Trainer Sound Embit. Yep. We don't know his name is Jake yet. It's Mysterious Trainer. Also, in case you don't know, Embit was the first, uh... Back then, before Brick Bron Not Brick Bronze. Uh, before Lumion Legacy was released, there was a trailer for it called Worlds Apart, where... Yeah, this is Jake from Brick Bronze. He, you know, your previous rival in Brick Bronze. He went through a port... He got sucked through a portal, and now ended it through here. And now... And Embit was the first Lumion he ever, uh, uh, saw, so... I guess he caught it, like, because, you know, it... You get it. If you just watch the Worlds Apart trailer, then you know. Also, I'm kind of worried, because... Dark is weak to fire. Just, just keep using Growl, I don't care. Pilfer. Oh god. Okay, this is much more scary than I thought. Go ahead and just rest. Use, just use Burrow again. Of course, it's the one! Whew, okay. Pilfer. Okay, you have no energy left. Okay, yes, wait out this turn. And then. Pilfer. No! Pounce. Wait on this turn then. Okay, here's slap. Oh, that's clutch. Let's go ahead and use quick pounce. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, I'm not gonna switch so that he can actually, uh, you know, level up. And then blossom. Yeah, you know what, let's just use Take Root, since we're not gonna switch. Oh god, you're faster than me. Okay, and then use a Bug Bite. Wait, I don't think it would actually kill me. I think, I don't think, the only move you actually have is Spare, and that, that can only bring the down to a one. Oh no, you have Shine, okay. So you can, uh, defeat me. Crap on a bike! I did not plan this out well. Okay, Spare does more damage than Shine for some reason. Oh yeah, because I resist Shine. And you're almost out of health. Or energy, so take this time to heal up through bug bites. Oh, you're just waiting, okay. Bug bite again. Take root. Bug bites again. You stare. Oh yeah, stare actually. Oh I think I see a strategy. He's using stare to make spare more powerful. And then using shine to do the final hit, or maybe that's not what his strategy is. And just when he's low health, I actually have to rest too. Oh, okay, there we go. No, no, rest, rest, use rest, not wait, use rest. Dang it, use wait. Just a few more hits. Or three. Oh, spare does very much damage now. Okay. Blossom, if you get a critical hit, then I'll love you forever. I hate you. <laughs> now I have to wait. Just for. And. We're both waiting. Okay, but I won, though. Slowly but surely, I won. Oh, sure, this video is almost an hour long. 
No, it is an hour long. Jeez, this took longer than expected. Okay. Finally! Been waiting for a plant type move. Where were you earlier? Okay, what do I what do I get rid of? Yeah, I'll get rid of Nah. Actually, no. No. Yes, we have pine shots. Let's get rid of Burrow. Yeah, let's get rid of Burrow. I never use it. Gnaw is at least typeless, so that I, uh, don't, I don't have. Yeah. Let's get rid of Burrow. And learn pine shot. There we go. Amazing! You certainly are a strong trainer, just like a friend of mine. You know, I was really hoping this crystal would solve all my problems. This world is so large and mysterious. There has to be an answer for me out there. I just need to keep looking. Thank you for that battle. I bid you both farewell. And he was never seen from again. What an odd person. Why did you just take the train home? Alright, someone tell me what I missed. Who was that mysterious person I passed on the way here? Did you like a complete stranger in here? Oh, that's a funny story. We let him through thinking he was the trainer you sent. Luckily, the real trainer you sh showed up and I ran in here before anything happened to the crystal. Oh, she angry. She ticked off. I'll, uh, go back outside with the others and make sure nobody else slips through. Well then, it seems you really are quite the trainer. The small crystal is quite precious. You seem somewhat confused, so allow me to explain. This cavern is at, at the heart of a powerful energy source whose veins run through the south of Noria. At the center of it all is this giant crystalline structure you see hanging from the ceiling. It's the purest formation of the power surge minerals running through the ground. Very slowly, minerals drop down from a smaller but still highly concentrated crystal formation. The crystal is far more than a hundred times more powerful than the other crystals you see bringing process in Sylvan City. It takes a small fraction of the crystal energy to support your new watch upgrades permanently. Now, if you allow me, I'll upgrade your watch. And now, your Lumiwatch is upgraded. The setting flash application was now installed. You created the silver of the crystal into the power slide. And it's still installed by a special application onto your Lumiwatch. The stunning flash app, you will be able to illuminate dark places for other objects as you see fit. With the energy source upgraded, you'll be able to enhance your watch even more with each victory you gain against Rory's other battle stars. Now I must return to Sylvan City. Being a battle star is very demanding. I look forward to the next time we meet. Take it easy now. And that is where we don't end the video, because I need to go back in. I need to go back to Real Gale Forest. I'll see you back in Gale Forest to do something. Now that we have something Flash. I almost forgot. There's a there's a cutscene that uh, happens right here. I keep forgetting about the cutscenes of the Lumi Watch. Let's go ahead and do this. No, oh, my goodness, everybody. Yeah, there we go. Bzz, bzz. Someone's calling on your new Lumi Watch. Hey, Chant, what's that? Congrats again on your th theater victory. You did amazing. But let's not forget our mission. I found another energy, pretty strong energy reading on my machine. When you're ready, head on to Route 4, and I'll call you with more information. All right, that's everything I wanted to say. Good luck, Champ. Rooting for you. Okay, now is where I pause the video to go back and do something important in the video. Okay, see you then. Okay, I am back. I had to backtrack away, uh, backtrack through multiple. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, I went back to uh, the place where he fought Duskit, and if you remember, there was this thing. It's a mysterious veil of darkness. Roll credits. Would you like to use Stunning Flash? Yes. My eyes now are bleeding. The veil of darkness is first. And here is a red chest. Let's see what's inside. There's a move manual dodge. Move manual dodge is added to this one. Yep. Move manuals, like I said earlier, I think. Uh... It's basically the replacement for uh, eight TMs. Let's go ahead and teach uh, this to someone. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of Growl. You know, get Growl. Yep. Yes. Use Dodge. Oh no, I didn't want to go rid of that. I wanted to give someone else Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get rid of Pounce. Yeah. Should I give dodge to... Nah, I'm not going to give dodge to Blossom. Maybe I will actually give dodge to Blossom. Maybe I'll get rid of Take Root. Because Take Root isn't really that good. You know what? Nah, I'm getting rid of Gnaw. Nah. There we go. Alright. 
And, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for today on Lumion Legacy. Yes, I know this video is like an hour long. You might not be able to even watch it. But, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, next time in Lumion Legacy Veils of Shadow, we will finally go on to Route 4. And I promise you, Route 4 will not be a uh, long video. Because, yeah. See you guys then.